the very thought of you And I forget to do The little ordinary things that everyone ought to do I see your face in every flower All right, before I head out for another broadcast evening at KDKA Radio, we begin after local news at 6. I want to take time to talk about a true legend of stage, screen, and, of course, the arts. He was part of that great duo, Steve and Edie. Edie Gourmet, of course, his longtime wife. An iconic duo that really had amazing star power. And there wasn't anyone that they did not perform with during the glory years of Hollywood, especially when they were making the big musicals back in the day. But also, they found a career on the Vegas stage in the golden era when the Rat Pack was making a name for themselves at the Sands. Steve and Edie were continuing to make a name larger than life when it came to everything that is entertainment. You know, I think of these people often, especially when I hear their music, because it takes me back being a child growing up the most informidable years of my life because it was teaching me everything about life and it always seemed to go back to entertaining and my mother had a lot to do with that and she loved Steve and Edie and my mother would often say don't I sound like Edie Gourmet and we would laugh all the time and I would say well if you're Edie I've got to be Steve. Steve Lawrence was class personified he was the son of a cantor uh, he grew up with the love of music in his heart, and he really did seem like just a decent guy. You know, I've often said Frank Sinatra, an alter ego to many, including me, reminded me so much of my dad, as did people like Steve Lawrence. They were just men who really enjoyed being entertainers and entertaining the masses. Every woman wanted to have a dance with him, and every man wanted to have a drink with him. I know that uh, the only thing that's constant is change and time stands still for no one. But it's sad when you start losing some of these heroes that were such a big part of your life as he was. But thank goodness, uh, now that they're both gone, I can continue to listen to their music. And when they were on stage together, it was absolutely electrifying. I know many of you may not even remember Steve Lawrence because a lot of my fan base and friends are younger, including my children. But I can tell you this, as big as the stars of the world and globe today that you may enjoy that are entertainers, they're good. Some are great. But talent, being able to sing, dance, and act, those were just a chosen few. And Steve Lawrence was one of them. Your Pratt Pack until tonight on KDK after local news at six. Have a great rest of your day. And to you, Mr. Lawrence, and your late wife, Edie Gourmet, thank you for the sheer joy of your music, that soundtrack of my life that will live on with me in generations to come. A heartbreaking news coming through confirms how easygoing crooner Steve Lawrence, who shot the fame as Half of the singing duo Steve and Eddie with his wife Eddie Gumi has died on Thursday at his home in Los Angeles. According to reports, he was 88 years old. The cause of death has been revealed to be complications from Alzheimer's disease, according to a family spokesperson called Suzanne Dubow. Lawrence and Gom, uh, who died in 2013 at 84 years old, were top selling artists throughout the 1950s to 1960s and 1970s and continued to tour until 2009 together. They were also uh, present in nightclubs and on television for nearly 60 years and hosted their own summer replacement series called the Steve Lawrence and Eddie Gomez Show on NBS, NBC in 1958. Lawrence was born in Sydney, Lebowitz in Brooklyn and he was the son of a cantor. He was hired along with Gom by Steve Allen in 1953 as part of Allen's local television show that aired on NBC in New York and eventually morphed into the Tonight Show 
with which they remained until 1957. They got married in 1957 and continued to appear many times on The Tonight Show once Johnny Carson took over in 1962 through the end of his run uh, 30 years later. Lawrence was a top-selling recording artist with different hit songs including Girl A Little Girl, which reached number one on the US charts and was awarded a gold record party doll at Footsteps and so many others. Over the course of their long career, Lawrence and Gom won a Grammy and an Emmy in 1979 uh, for Steve and Eddie Celebrate Everything Berlin. Lawrence also got a Tony nomination in 1964 for his role as Sammy Gleek in What Makes Sammy Run. Well, he had a very huge career and now he is gone. Rest in peace, Lawrence.